that is calling. Do you know what eating ass is? <laughs> I'm so sorry if any of my ex are watching this. Have I ever been to a sex party? If you haven't tried it, you are not gonna know if you like it or not. And I just met him and I was like, whoa, okay. Yeah, what the fuck? What is the definition of bisexual? Am I attracted to women? The size massa. Am I having sex with my ex? Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing a Q&A today on the topic sex and relationship. I did one of these videos about nine months ago and you seem to like it. So why not we make it another one? If you're following me on Instagram, you know that I do a Q&A every Sunday where you can ask me basically anything. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and hop on over when we're done here and do that, please. <laughs> But today, as I said, we are going to talk about sex and relationships. Chips. No, relationship. Chips, yeah. And I asked you on Instagram as well to ask me questions so I can answer them here. Let's see what kind of questions we have here. I also do want to add that I'm not a sex expert, aka I'm not an expert on sex. I am though very free of speech, I just say what I think and I love giving advice and I have some kind of experience with things and and very open mind, so uh, therefore I think that I can probably answer these questions in a um, decent way. Some of the questions that I got are also answered on my other q and I'll link it down below and you can go ahead and watch it there. But first of all, I do want to address something that a lot of you is wondering, and it's about anal sex. What is the obsession about anal? Because I got like 20 questions asking me if I've had it. I also answered that in my last Q&A. And I've tried it, it's not my thing so far in life. And there's also questions about how to introduce this to a partner. I think that the most important thing is to communicate if you do like anal sex. Tell them what you like because that is what makes great sex. Communication and sharing your thoughts about what you like. So if you do have a partner who wants to try it, or if you are one that wants to try it, go ahead and just say so. And maybe you can find a solution. Maybe you can try it. I mean, if you haven't tried it, you are not going to know if you like it or not. So, and I think that you should try everything at least once. Okay. Relationship question. How to deal with the breakup? I just lost my girl. Well, first of all, I'm really sorry to hear that. And, and I understand that this is a hard time for you. When it comes to breakups, it's all individual about how we're feeling and how we can deal with that. When you spend so much time with someone, of course that person is gonna have a big impact on of, of your life. And I think the most important thing is like in a relationship or out of a relationship that you have to not lose yourself. I think that you should focus on who you are, what you want, how you're feeling. And then also you have to respect if someone breaks up with you, maybe that person isn't in love anymore or it's never easy to go through a breakup uh, unless both of you definitely decided 100% together that you're not gonna be together anymore. Find yourself again, surround yourself with people that make you happy, do things that make you happy so you can get a little distracted about the hard times that you're going through right now. Maybe sometime in the future you can be friends again because I think that if you spend so much time with someone and you let them into your life and there's no drama really involved, why could you not have that person in your life anymore? Anyhow, get back on track, do things you like. It will get easier. Another thing that I would like to add is that you can never ever control what you're feeling, which means that you have to respect the other person's feelings as well. If you fall in love with someone, that is the feeling that you're feeling, and hopefully that is responded. But if you're in a relationship and you fall out of love, for example, you can't help that. Maybe something happened, but maybe something also did happen. That's what I kind of live by, that feelings are never in our control and we just have to respond to it. Yes. How will an ugly dude increase his chances? Of course, you have the inside, but they don't get to know you. This is a little bit of a hard question because we all like different things. So if someone thinks someone else is unattractive, then maybe someone else would find that one attractive. We're all attracted to different things, right? The most important thing for you or anyone that feels unattractive, it doesn't mean that you are unattractive, it just makes, you know, feel unattractive. Just care for yourself, learn to love yourself. If you feel like you're out of shape for the desire that you like, then go to the gym, eat better. And then if you have like a dating profile, make sure that you post the photos that you're most happy with like where you show your genuine self uh for me a smile is very catchy like sparkly eyes as well but as i said also keep in mind that what i found attractive might be something that my best friend finds very unattractive okay there's a lid forever pot eh 
Your opinion about open relationships. Oh. <laughs> well, as I'm growing older, I have, I shouldn't say everybody, but um, realized that a lot of relationships are actually open relationships. People get married with their love and then they might have sex on the side. If you know what I mean, for like excitement. I would lie if I say that we're not going to be attracted to other people, but we do want to share our life with someone. So my, my short opinion about open relationships, I think everybody does what they want to do. I was actually seeing a guy this summer that had an open relationship and in their relationship, it wasn't allowed to date anyone, but it is allowed to have sex with someone else. And as for me, since I was seeing this guy, I also shared this guy with other people it didn't bother me because we weren't like really dating we were just having sex and so i guess my opinion with that is that it's fine i think <laughs> i was gonna say sharing is caring but i'm not sure i mean that um <laughs> when i'm in a relationship i don't like to share my man like emotionally but maybe sex with other people or like together with other people is fine <laughs> that's my opinion did you ever have sex with a girl and if so what is it like and are you bisexual i think that a lot of us especially girls are a bit bisexual as for that we are curious in in having sex with the same sex i don't know if i would say that i am bisexual what is the definition of bisexual am i attracted to women yes i am sometimes i am attracted to vibes so if a girl has a good vibe then yeah i can most definitely be attracted to that girl and i could also have sex with that girl happen yes i have had sex with a girl and i thought it was fun would i date a girl would i be in a relationship with one i don't think so because i also feel like having sex with a girl there is something missing as for penetrative penetrative sex penetrative 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 how do i say this penetrational sex so no i wouldn't date a girl as for like building a future with one i could just have fun with one yeah does that make me bisexual <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> is eating ass the future? Is it? What do you think? I don't know. I think that we all like different things and that, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people like it and the reason why people like uh, eating ass or being eaten, having their ass eaten, is that a saying? Is that the area of the anus is very, very sensitive. It's a lot of nerve endings. I wouldn't just demand a person and say like go, go eat my ass i think that if it happens during um sexual activities it's fine is it the future to eat ass though yeah maybe i mean yeah do you think they ate ass like back in the day i don't know opinion about having sex with more than one person at the same time and if so how many is okay again it's all up to you what you like i think that sometimes it's fun to just explore and and have fun right and how many people you would like to involve is up to you and up to the people you're with. But no, I think if you never had a threesome, for example, just go try it because it is an experience. And if you want to have like a orgy, yeah, go do that too. My opinion is that you should have fun. And uh, how many people you want to involve, that's up to you. Have I ever been to a sex party? I have, but I wasn't having sex. What's the best date you've ever been on and what is a good date? To be completely honest here, I haven't been on a lot of dates. I've been in a relationship almost all my life. I feel like now, <laughs> yeah, more or less. I've been single here and there, but not much, not for too long. I also think that in my previous relationships that a lack of dates have been a thing. I think that even if you are in a, in a relationship that you should go on dates because it's important to not forget about, you know, everything for each other. Um, let me think, a good date, whoa. This is sad. <laughs> this is really sad. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, a good date would though be that if, if, um, <clears throat> fuck, I've never been on a good date. I'm so sorry if any of my ex dates are watching this. You know what? Actually, I've been on a date. That was really good because it was spontaneous. I wouldn't even say it was with a, a date. It's with a guy that I know. Um, it's a friend of mine. It is not a romantic relationship really at all. We just have a, a really a nice connection. And one day uh, it was spontaneous. I said, hey, let's have lunch. I'm in your city. So uh, that's what we did. 
and we ended up going to uh, the supermarket buying like every snack that we could find and we went to a playground and we sat there for like two three hours just talking about life and and snacking on these things it was the end of my cut which meant that I was really really hungry so um, yeah I snacked a lot and I was he was probably just amazed about how much I could snack so that was like one of the best dates I've been on I was also kind of on a date nah that wasn't a date what is a date really you know I do really like that when you spontaneously meet someone and hang out with that person and if you have like a good time and could that be a date I think that is a date yes yeah a good date though would be that what is the worst date you've been on? Like, I don't know if it was like a worst date. I have a really, really open mind, which I'm going to say that. It means kind of that I don't really uh, think that things are weird or I don't really judge or, you know. But I was on a date with a guy. I remember exactly where it was. It was in a Turkish restaurant here in Gothenburg. I was having a good time. And there was a like a, a family with a couple of young kids in the restaurant as well. I do not have a problem with kids at all uh, or kids that are loud. I, I can just block it out. I think there's like 30 minutes in on our date. The food didn't even arrive yet. And he says, I would never let our children behave like this. He said that to me and I just met him and I was like, whoa, okay, what the fuck? I went to the bathroom and I sat in there like I was calling my best friend for a really long time. I was like, how do I get out of this? I ended up eating and I was trying to have a good time. Uh, the food was good. The date was weird. Do you have more tension on the beach if you're topless? If yes, do you like it? Uh, this I don't know if this question is on the subject, but uh, I think that more girls should be comfortable with their bodies. And I think you should try to be topless on the beach sometime because it just boosts your confidence to be naked and appreciate yourself. Do I get more tensions? Nah, I don't. I don't know. I don't really care. Do I like the attention? When it comes to someone watching my boobs, no, not really. I like the attention more if someone says you have beautiful eyes or I like your smile. That's better. Does size matter? <laughs> I think that if you know how to work your uh, penis, then it's a good thing. I've had sex with someone that had a really small one, and for me, he <laughs> and he also didn't know really how to work it, and he was really insecure, which made it really uncomfortable. Uh, we had other type of sex though, like non-penetrational sex. Which was great. Sex doesn't always have to be penetration. It can be oral sex, it can be foreplay, it can be touching, it can be playing with ice <laughs> or something. Sometimes the foreplay is actually better than the sex. I have a really hard time coming. I'm a fucking project when it comes to that. If I'm not really, really comfortable or if the person is really, really good at whatever he's doing, yeah, then it might work. I've also been with someone that had way too big penis. If it's too big, it could be very uncomfortable if the person also doesn't know how to use it or like what positions that works best. If you go from behind with a really large penis, that hurts. But keep in mind, if you have a big penis, then it's very important that the girl is aroused properly because when a guy gets aroused, you know that the penis gets hard and grows. And when a girl gets aroused, the you know, we get wet and also our vagina expands to make room, you know, for penetration so uh, get to know your penis make sure that you find out what works best in situations regardless if you have a big one or a small one be confident with what you have because confidence is really really sexy <laughs> my friend is messaging <laughs> she's saying that she slept with someone last night and she doesn't remember the name is that okay let's turn it into a question is that okay to have one night stands and not remember the name yes absolutely Go wow, have fun. If, if that flows your boat. Anyways, single and ready to mingle. Personally, yes, definitely. I have been single now for about eight months. And uh, it's like the first time that I'm single this long and not really dating anyone. I am super in love with myself at the moment and I'm very pleased with, with the way I'm feeling. And, and earlier, I thought a bit that I was scared of being alone. That's why I was in a relationship all the time. But I've learned that I'm not. I'm not scared of being alone. I just like to be in a relationship better because I like caring for people. And I like to share things with the one I love. And just the small things, I think. So, single, ready to mingle, yeah. Most definitely. What's your favorite position? Depends on the mood. 
Is it weird that I feel insecure about my kissing and sex skills because I've only ever been with one girl? Man, practice is though uh, gonna make you more uh, secure. So I just, my advice to you, just go kiss people. <laughs> kiss a lot. It's nice. I love kissing. And when it comes to having sex with only one person, it doesn't have to mean that you're bad. Bad at what you're doing. Uh, you could just be, and I have to say that comes down to being secure in yourself just have fun just relax and there isn't really something that is good and bad we all like different things i don't think you should be insecure at all i think you should just go out live life and have fun and if you are in a relationship here it doesn't matter you had sex with one girl and it's probably your girlfriend and it's even better because now you can get to know what you really like with sharing your experiences i don't really prefer one night stands i like to have sex with a connection not just the body and as like someone that has a hard time coming it's more important for me to actually have that connection and to be uh, comfortable am i having sex with my ex what ex are we talking about? My recent one? No. That is calling. <laughs> oh? Mm-hmm. Will you? Can you help me with it? Okay. I'm. Uh, I'm having a Q&A for YouTube, and the the topic is sex and relationships. Okay. Can you answer a question for me? Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna ask you because you're a little older uh, and the question is about the future. <laughs> okay. The reason, the reason I'm asking you now is because maybe I was saying that back in the day, maybe this wasn't popular and someone asking if this is common in the future. I mean, what do you think about future? Okay, so that, the question... <laughs> Okay. okay, the question is, <laughs> is, <laughs> is ass eating the future? <laughs> okay, he doesn't get it. And... What? <laughs> okay, do you know what eating ass is? It's when you are uh, licking the anus. Do you think that is the future? <laughs> he says no, fuck no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only dogs and cats does that, he says. So does that make it doggy style if you lick someone's ass? Doggy <laughs> style. But if the dogs are licking ass, isn't it the doggy style to lick an ass? <laughs> Is that it? Yes. Okay. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye. I love that we can have these weird conversations because they're actually not weird, right? Yes, that just happened. I think you should try to have a good relationship with your parents. What were we talking about? Sex with an ex. Oh, I am not. I don't know if I am. I, do I have sex with my ex? Oh, I actually did have sex with my ex about two months ago, but not that ex. An ex from 15 years ago. It was great. I was kind of nervous because I didn't know if it was going to be as good as it was. And why did that happen? Because it was freaking random and yeah, we were we were always been attracted to each other. And do I have sex with other exes? Mm, no. How often do you think a couple should have sex? At least three times a week. I think that if it goes longer than every other day or like if it goes longer than like a week apart, it gets easier to not have sex, if you know what I mean. If you have sex more often, you're gonna want it more often because you know, it's a good habit. And I think it's really important to do have sex as well because it bonds you together both mentally and physically. I don't know if you watched my other video about me being bipolar, but uh, being bipolar also means that you're in a depressive state sometimes. And with my, one of my ex-boyfriends, I was in a really bad state for a pretty long time and I didn't want sex. If you are depressed, you don't have any desire at all to have physical relationship. I know that it went like two months. I told him that maybe you should just like push me into this because if we don't have sex now, like I, I feel like I'm less attracted to you. Um, oh, it makes me just sad to talk about this. But yeah, if you are depressed, it's hard. So uh, yeah, then then we kind of drifted apart. But then when we had sex, it was I just remembered how amazing it was. I think it's very important to have sex on a regular basis. I hear a lot of friends of mine they do anal, but is that normal thing these days? Like what the fuck? 